Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the plotting of a ramp signal using MATLAB. The basic ramp signal can be defined as follows. That is R of t is equal to integral 0 to t u of tau d tau. That is the, basically the ramp signal is the, the ramp signal is the integral of the unit step signal. Therefore, the basic ramp signal is equal to uh, t times u of t because this integral basically becomes t times u of t. Now let us see what happens when there is a delay or advance in the ramp signal. That is basically shifting of the ramp signal. It is r of t minus a. It will be simply equal to t minus a into, into u of t minus a. So the value of the signal will be uh, at any point t1 it will be equal to t1 minus a so at any point t1 the value will be t1 minus a so that is the nature of a shifted uh, ramp signal now for the case of a scaled ramp signal uh, that means let us say r1 of t is equal to uh, a times r of t minus b in that case uh, it will be a shifted uh, ramp signal multiplied by a uh, scaling factor a that means that means the value can be represented as follows that means it is equal to a times t minus b multiplied by u of t minus b in other words the signal starts at b and the value at any given point is a into t minus b so at any point t1 the value of the signal is given by a times t1 minus b so that is the nature of a scaled and shifted ramp signal now let us verify all these things in matlab so in the first case let us uh, plot the ramp signal when there is no shift and no scaling that is it is purely r of t equal to t times u of t so you first create the time vector uh, with the uh, time support that is from minus 5 to plus 5 and with the uh, uh, basic uh, sampling rate n so uh, 1 by n is the sampling interval and we generate the vector t and then we use it as the input to my ramp signal my ramp function that is the function my ramp basically generates the ramp signal so the my ramp has basically two components the first one is it generates the unit step signal uh, at any given point that is the the step signal starts at the point shift and the value shift and then we convert that one into ramp signal by simply multiplying it with a scale and also t minus shift so that is, uh, the shift is 0, it is a unit ramp signal. I mean, if the scale is equal to 1 and shift is equal to 0, it is a unit ramp signal, uh, uh, basically the integral of the unit step signal. So in this case, uh, for scale equal to 1, shift equal to 0, ramp is equal to R t into x, and x is the unit step signal. So when we plot this one, we indeed get the ramp signal. That is, it starts at 0, uh, and then at any given point on the x-axis, the y-axis also has the same value. So for example at 2.37 we also have 2.37 on the y axis. So that is the nature of the basic ramp signal. Now when we change the uh, shift value or the scaling value we can see the corresponding effect. Let us see what happens when shift is equal to 3. So basically shift is equal to 3 means there is a delay of 3 for the ramp signal. So it starts at the point 3 and then it um, goes on. And it in, for any point on the x axis the corresponding value will be basically t minus 3. So for example here we have at x equal to 3.97 y is equal to 3.97 minus 3 that is 0 0.97. Now, uh, we can also do the sa uh, same thing with the scaling. Now we have scaling uh, that is a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 3. So, so for example uh, a is equal to uh, 2 and so let us pick the value 1 for time. So for value of time equal to 1 and we have uh, b is equal to minus 3 and a is equal to 2 that is b is equal to minus 3 and a is equal to 2 and t1 is equal to 1 so we are supposed to get 2 times 1 plus 3 it means it should be 8 so we can clearly see that uh, for the ramp signal uh, with the corresponding shift and a scaling factor it is indeed uh, the value at x equal to 1 or in this case t is equal to 1 it should be 8 hence it is verified so to summarize in this video we have looked at the plotting of a ramp signal the basic ramp signal the shifted one and also a scaled and shifted ramp signal 
so the ramp signal r of t is given by t into u of t and the shifted ramp signal is given by t minus a into u of t minus a and finally a scaled and shifted ramp signal is given by a times r of t minus b that means a times t minus b into u of t minus b you have written the matlab code for these ramp signals so the basic ramp signal can be easily generated by making shift equal to 0 and the scaling factor equal to 1 so we get a ramp signal uh, starting at 0 and then uh, in uh, increasing with a slope equal to 1 and then we can also generate a ramp signal with a corresponding slope uh, with the corresponding shift say minus 1 that is an advance of 1 so the ramp signal starts at 1 instead of uh, starts at minus 1 instead of 0 and then it also goes with the uh, same slope that is it increases with the same slope and we can also scale the signal the scaling of 2 and uh, shift of uh, 3 that is a uh, an advance of 3 so we have the corresponding ramp signal which has a value a into t minus b into u of t minus b here b is basically minus 3 and a is equal to 2 thus we are thus we have used matlab to plot ramp signal and its transformations thanks for watching